Hello everyone, my name is Alan from Cyberlab and today will be another video for Home Assistant. In this video, I will show how you can configure it in the zero tier. In the previous video, I show how to configure it in the wiring guard. And in the wiring guard, you need to have option to allow your port forwarding. And not everyone can do it. I know that some people have some problem or some issue to do this port forwarding. For this reason, I want to show this program that you don't need to do any configuration. It's only you connect to the network that you want. To this one, you can use this routine as your VPN. If you like this idea and want to know a little bit more about it, we're gonna show, but first of all, don't forget to leave your like, subscribe for the channel and let's do it. Before we start to do any setup or anything, let's only try to explain what is this zero tier. This zero tier is option for VPN. In the last video, I explained why we use a VPN. But I will remember. Basically, VPN is the option that you can connect outside for a network, simulate that you are in your network. It's really useful if you are in a holidays or in a travel or outside in your home and you want to connect for this network. This way, they create a bridge between these two points and simulate that you are in your network. Have this one in mind, we're gonna explain more about this zero tier. This zero tier, they say as the low slogan, they say that it's a security connection any device anywhere. As I told, they will allow you to connect with any device or not any, but most of the device, any place that you want. Have this one, we go a little bit down and they say that have more than 3 million device connects for this one, where have more than 750,000 users using this application and also have 1.2 million of networks. But how it's worked network? I will have a little bit of uh, explanation. You can create different networks. Of course, you can add more than one device for network and you can add more networks for one device, if it makes sense. Basically, you can have your phone in three different places where you have access in one network for this device, in another network in other device, and another network for other device. What it means? It means that you can have a fast connection, flexibility, so you can have a different networks in the same time that you want, or different networks according for our needs, and also they guarantee that it's security because they use the encryption 256 bits. But remember, not everything is for free. They offer a pricing option. If I come here in the pricing option, you have two options. The first one, if you do your self-hosting. In the case of the home assistant, you're not able to do the self-hosting. You're gonna use the control option or at least use all the services for the zero tier. When you use this control option or the hosted option from zero tier, you can have up to 50 users connected to the network. One good point is that you can have unlimited network, but you are only allowed to have one admin user. Have this one in mind, we're gonna use this basic option. For me, it's totally fine. I will not have more than 50 devices connecting the same network, so it's fine. And also, if I need to do more than networks, I will do it. But remember, if you need to have more than 50 devices, then one of the three options and it's your self-hosting this controller. And this self-hosting can be in a Docker container that you can do. But this one will not show in this video. We're gonna show the base configuration. So have this one in mind, we can come here in our home assistant. In a home assistant that's a red setup, I can come here in the supervision part, and in supervision part, I can install this zero tier. To install it, we come in a add-on store, and we go all the way down until the zero tier. When that we click it, they give us the option to install. So as I told, it's no configuration, it's only come here and put install. Once that finished installation, we'll come in the documentation to see the information. But let's wait first. Now, once that thing's installed, we can come here in documentation. This part of documentation is really important because here it's all the instruction or all the information that you need to follow to install the zero tier. Here they show that to install the zero tier, first you need to add this add-on. We already did it, so it's fine. Next thing is uh, create a free account in zero tier and get your network ID. We're gonna do it in a second. 
then get the configuration part and add your network ID. Once that added this one, we can start our review here. Check the logs to see if everything's okay. We're gonna do it. And then we can go back in the zero tier and check if show the IP for our machine. And then after this one, we can add the other device and that's have this network connection between device. Have this one, we come here in the configuration and here we need to add our network. To add our network, we need to create our network first. So we come here in the zero tier where I already have login and I come and create a network. Once that has created a network, the aleatory name, so we can click it and we can change the name of this network. As I'm doing for the video, I will create the name as a Sauber Lab. The description for this network will be exactly the same, so we don't need to stress. And here appear the option for access control. What means it? You have two options. The first is private control, that uh, you can add the member and that they will be permanently there or you have a public. It means that if the user don't enter in this routine for more than 30 days, it will be automatically deleted. As I'm created as a private, so we want to leave private for me. So I come here down and I can set my IPv4. My IPv4 can be any one of those options as a standard. If you really want to configure some specific option for IP, you can come here in advanced and you can configure it. But in our case, it's totally fine to leave as an easy option. We come here down and here they show the option for DNS. What it means? It means that you can create some DNS and add from this one. But we're not gonna create, we're gonna use the option that Zero Tier offers us. So now we can set up our account. They say that no device has been joined for this network, so we're gonna copy this network that we need to add. And now we can go back for our home assistant. Here in our home system, we're gonna add our network. The network will be the same one that we copy in the zero tier website and we come here and put save. If you configure everything fine, they will allow you to save so we can come here info and put start. Few seconds, they ready start our configuration, we can come here in log. Once that come in log, they will appear the information service done. It means that it's working, everything should be right. But let's double check if it's everything is correct. Now we can come here back in our zero tier and we come and update this page. When that has been finished the refresh the page, we come in the option for the users. Here in the option of the user, the red appear my user. It means that my user will be this one. Let's check if it's exactly the same user that I had before. Yes, we can come here in home assistant and we know that our user is this one. So yes, exactly the same, that's great. We come here and we define the name. We come here and put home assistant. The same thing, home assistant. And here there will appear that my status is online and here will be my IP for my network. So we have configured it, but I'm not happy yet. I want to configure my phone to access this zero tier. So now I get my phone and I will try to do it. And inside the application for zero tier, I will just put add a network. I go uh, all the way down and accept this one. Once that accept, I can define my network ID. That will be exactly the one that show there, it will be 83. Once that I tape my network, I can come here and add a network. They will ask me to allow this connection, so I put allowed. They will ask me to put my password, I put it, and now it's connected. But let's check if it's really connect. I put to connect my network. And if you look in the bottom of here, uh, my device ID, it's a 27FAE. So if I refresh my page, it should appear there as well. So I go way down the same way and now right appear my same network ID. I can come here and put phone. Now only need to authorize this two device to connect this one and now they appear already my manage IP. In this way, I can connect my device anywhere, any place using this IP or this description. So guys, I hope that you liked this video. It's really fast because as the name say, no configuration required. So we are only set up, run the application, connect to the network and it's done. Easy, no port forwarding required. If you like this video and think that it was interesting, 
leave your like. If you don't like, leave your dislike. Subscribe for the channel and see you next time. Bye.